everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Audrey and I make videos all about books. I am an avid bookworm. I have been since I first knew how to read and I have been reading my whole life. I've never not read. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I wanted to do a bookshelf to wear. Here's the thing. I don't actually have bookshelves. My books are scattered along the floor. They're contained, but they are not on the bookshelves. We moved into our house about eight months ago and we have kind of a vision of the bookshelves that we want and the space that we have, but it's just kind of been the last thing on our minds, the last kind of thing to do. We have a seven month old who is currently playing down here. Yeah, life is just busy, it's great, it's busy, and bookshelves are just kind of the last thing on our minds to do. So anyways, I wanted to still do this video because I thought it looked really fun and I'm actually kind of curious what all books that I have accumulated over the years. It's been a long time since I've actually went through every single book that I own. I have not read all of them. I've read a good amount of them, but I've not read all of them. Now, within this pile of books, which you shall see in a minute, I have a lot of random books. I have a lot of yoga books. I used to be a yoga teacher. I have a lot of photography books. I was a photographer. So I have a lot of books like that that I won't be showing you or talking about because they're not, I mean, they're books, but they're not. Anyways, you know what I mean. So I have a lot of those kind of books, um, but I'm just gonna go through all of the, I guess, novels, you could say, and just kind of go from there. I don't think I will be doing necessarily a book unhaul, but if I come across a book that I think, you know, I don't really need this one, I'll go ahead and get rid of it, then maybe I'll do that. But it won't be a specific book unhaul because for me, books are a collection. They're something that I have been collecting my whole life and they're just they're just a part of me. And I just, I love books. Good job. Good job, you got a book. Good job. Ava, my daughter, also loves books. So, speaking of, it is nap time for her. It's actually been nap time for a long time. I have been trying in vain to put her down for a nap. I don't know what what her deal today is. She just she just wants to play today. So, so far she's only taken one nap. So, I'm going to do my best to get her down for a nap because when she does, then I'll continue on with this video and I will show you all the books that I currently own on my bookshelf. So I thought I would go ahead and just first show you this bookshelf that I have in my room. These are all the books that I have recently purchased, books that I want to add to my TV or that kind of thing. So I'm going to go through those and just show you um, the ones that I have there. I'm going to talk quietly. I just laid Ava down. She's kind of stirring a little bit, but she is so sleepy. So hopefully she falls asleep quickly. Um, I think she already fell asleep. She is so tired. Um, I'm going to talk quietly for this video just to hopefully not wake her up. So all these books here on this bookshelf are not organized in any sort of way. So I'm just going to very quickly just show you um, what they are. So first we have this one called Gone. I believe it's a mystery thriller. Then we have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. We have this young adult called Remarkable. We have this one called The Unicorn Quest, A Romance, Frankly in Love, another middle grade here called Legends of the Sky. We have the Friday Night Knitting Club. We have a middle grade here, The Girl Who Drank the Moon. I do want to get to this one quickly. <laughs> we have The Bookshop of Second Chances, which that looks um, really cute. It's a romance. We have The Stationery Shop, which I also want to get to. We have this one called Days at the Morisaki Bookshop. This is a translated work, and I think it looks really cute. We have The Rose Garden. This is a collection of literary short stories. Um, is it Maeve Brennan, it looks like? We have another romance called The Spanish Love Deception. Then we have here one called Norwegian Wood. Then over here we have my journals and book journals. Okay, moving on to this middle shelf here, we have one called The Personal Librarian. We have this one called Summer in Tuscany. We have The First Mistake. This is a thriller. Then we have a middle grade called Pax. We have The Only One Left by Riley Sager. This is his newest one, and I have yet to get to it, but I really want to. We have another thriller called Wait. We have this kind of detective mystery one called The Maze. We have a Daniel Silva, The Heist, a Kate Morton, The Lake House. We have one called Friends and Strangers. We have Wrong Place, Wrong Time. And then we have The Cartographers. These three I actually picked up from my local library. There you have a used book sale there. I picked these up for a dollar a piece. 
And then this final shelf down here, we have one called The Chicken Sisters. We have To Have and To Hope, a romance. We have The Fifth Season, which I definitely want to read. We have The Priory of the Orange Tree. All these were actually on my July TBR, and I have not read any of them. And it's almost over. <laughs> July is. We have a middle grade called Wildwood. We have Crossings. We have My Cousin Rachel by Daphne de Marier. We have Ashes on the Moor, which um, is another one I got from my library. This is a romance, I believe. Then we have another one by Jillian McAllister. This is How to Disappear. Then over here, I have two library books that I need to <laughs> return. I um, talked about these in my last video. Then I have my Bible and Bible studies there. And then in this bottom drawer, I have just some book totes and stuff like that. Okay, so now we are going to move on to my haul. As you can see, I have some books out there. I'm going to show you the before. I have not touched it. Um, we have Ava's car seat. We have my diaper bag. We have just a kind of collection of random things um, amidst all of my books. I've also made myself a cup of iced coffee. I have lipstick on this straw. Um, definitely much needed. It is currently Friday as I am filming this and it has been a day. It feels like a Monday. I don't really know what's going on. But yeah, I definitely needed some extra coffee today. So over here is our bedroom, which my goodness, it's messy. I need to shut the door so you can see in there. It's so bad. The house is a mess. Um, and then over here, we just have this kind of alcove and then we have the living room over here. So Eventually, we want to get bookshelves that kind of line on each wall, um, but this is what it's looking like right now, and I'm just showing you the full, here it is. <laughs> I don't even know. It's, it's bad. So we have the car seat. We have the diaper bag. We have her baby carrier. We have this box of stuff. It's just, there is no rhyme or reason to any of these books here. So to some of you, this may look like a lot of books. To others, this may look like not many at all. For me, this is the perfect amount. I have not read all of them, but I have a lot that I do want to get to. Um, so what I'm going to do uh, is very briefly kind of move everything out that is not a book, and then we will kind of go through each stack by stack. I am also going to get a dusting rag because I can guarantee this is going to be dusty. So some of you are probably cringing, and I'm sorry, but this is just the reality. This is what it is. I am showing you the very authentic, genuine self. I am showing you my books and all their glory. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through everything here. I'm going to organize them. I'm not going to categorize them by like genre or anything like that. I'm just going to very briefly go through everything, find any books that I don't think that I want, maybe books that I will get rid of, and then after that, I will take you through all the books that I own. This might actually take me a little while, so I'm going to get my headphones, um, turn on a fun YouTube video, and just organize and clean all of this. This is definitely still a bookshelf tour, but it's also kind of organizing it. It's making me go through everything, because otherwise, who knows how long that those books will stay there. And I'm sure that I will find other books that I want to read that I had forgotten that I own. I also know I own the first uh, Caraval, Caraval book and it's in there somewhere and I don't know where and I haven't read it and I really want to read it. Um, so yeah, let's go.
Okay, so <laughs> this is what we're working with at the moment. What I've done is I pretty much have gone through pretty much every book and dusted them, cleaned them. Um, yes, there were a couple spiders, um, some spider webs, some dust, and that was <laughs> alarming, but we made it through. We are good. So right now the books are obviously a jumbled mess. I have nonfiction. I have Sudoku books. I have my whole sack of Agatha books. I have just all these things. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through, organize them by... I guess just separate like nonfiction by just fiction. And then I have a small stack of books to give away. Also, I had mentioned earlier that I was looking for the Carnival book and I can't find it. And I don't know if I just missed it, which clearly I could have, but I know that I had it before we moved. And now I have a fear that it got lost in the move somehow, or it is in a different box. I have a tub of like journals and stuff out in the garage, so maybe it's in there. But I know that I have it. I remember literally going to Barnes and Noble and buying it, and I don't know where it is. But anyways, what I'm going to do is just go through, separate by nonfiction and fiction, and just kind of pile them up. And then after that, I will go through all of those books. So we're making some good progress. Oh. Surprisingly, that did not wake Ava up, but I came to share a confession. I just put them back in the wrong order. But I came to be um, vulnerable for one second by sharing. I have not read these books. As you can tell, they are the <laughs> Harry Potter books. I read the first three, and they were cute, they were good. And I don't know why I never finished the series, but I have them. So maybe I'll do a video of me reading them for the first time. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. I have also never read the Twilight books. organize all of these books. I was going to kind of stack them on the floor, but I'm not so sure because if I do that, I need to go through them with you before because they are going to get covered. Hard to make a decision when <laughs> your brain is dead. Okay, I think I have a plan. So I've already done two rows, but I'm going to pretend I didn't. I'm going to go through each row as I uh, organize them. So I think this might be <laughs> be very chaotic but we're gonna start here in the corner so obviously I have the Twilight books and then I have the Harry Potter books which I have not read either of those then over here these are all fiction books so we have uh, the kite runner cat's eye eldest crystal kingdom how to stitch American dream the outsiders where angels fear to tread a little life Jane Eyre sorcery and Cecilia nevermore Oliver Twist, 13 Moons, The Small House of Allington, at Allington, Stranger in the House. We have um, two World Diary books, which these are my childhood books. We have Devils, Crazy Rich Asians, Scarlet Pimpernel, Mrs. Mike, Ready Player One, Keeper of the Lost Cities, Crime and Punishment, The Mystery of Edwin Drood, and The Decameron. Those are all the books that I have here on this wall. Now, moving here because I obviously covered the first stack. But over here we have all of Agatha Christie books. So I have a small collection of Agatha Christie's, which yes, I have read all of those. So we have Agatha Christie from here all the way over. Then starting here, we have House in the Cerulean Sea, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, The Alchemist, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, Discovery of Witches, The Secrets uh, We Kept, which this one I was debating whether to keep this one or not. Um, I haven't read it. Let me know if it's good or not. Let me know if I should keep it. I was debating whether or not to uh, get rid of it. Then we have a red wall book. We have Emma, another red wall book. Christy, Nicholas Nickleby, Connecticut Yankee, and 
King Arthur's Court, The Beautiful and Damned, Hind's Feet on Hind's Places. We have, what's this one? The Couple Next Door. Sorry, it's a little bit blurry. I'm kind of close. Um, we have Nathaniel Hawthorne book. We have an E.M. Forster book. We have this one called The Chosen. We have another copy of Christy. And then we have this John Green one, Turtles All the Way Down, which I have read this one and it was good. But I'm curious if... Maybe I'll get rid of it. I got rid of The Fault in Our Stars because I've already read it and I'm not going to ever read it again. So Turtles All the Way Down was good. I don't even remember it. I just remember liking it, but now I'm debating whether or not to keep this one. And then we have, let's see, a copy of Northanger Abbey, which this is actually my sister's copy, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, so maybe I need to send that to her. Okay, now we're going to go through this uh, front row here. So, we have Mr. Limoncello's Library, we have Cold Hearted Sea Biscuit, we have The Moonstone, we have The Night Circus, which I read and did not love. We have a book about Shakespeare, we have The Betrayal of Anne Frank, we have Magnolia Palace, The Paris Apartment, Amari and the Knight Brothers, a Marie Benedict book, Secret History, War and Peace, Tale of Two Cities, Middlemarch, uh, what's that, Dickens one, Pickwick Papers, Fairy Secret Society of Irregular Witches, Daphne de Marier, a Red Wall book, we have Eleanor Oliphant, it's completely fine, we have a um, The Hawthorne Legacy, which is the second one, we have the Love Hypothesis, we have The Idiot, we have Phantom of the Opera, which I love. We have The Last Song, which I'm also debating whether or not to keep that one or not because I probably want to reread it again. We have Island of the Blue Dolphins, we have a Dorothy Sayers book, and The Deer Slayer. That's what we've got so far. Okay, now let's go through this row here. We have The Curious Charms of Arthur Pepper, Princess Bride, Lock Every Door, Wuthering Heights, Ivanhoe, The Idiot. Uh, we have this one. Oh, this one is actually nonfiction, but the novel in a year. We have this book about Audrey Hepburn. We have Daisy Darker, which I did not like this book, so I don't know if I should keep it or not. We have some Edith Wharton books. We have two um, Anna Green Gables books. We have Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. We have In the Mountains Echoed, which is a good one. We have The Mill on the Floss. We have a Kate Morton book. We have Pineapple Street. We have these two, which I have only. Um, I just looked through those, but they're Tolstoy's letters, which are really interesting. Um, we have Sunflower Sisters, we have Kaikei, which I have not read. We have a Ruth Ware book, a Lucy Foley book, we have one called The Hummingbird's Daughter, which I haven't read. And we have this one, which I forgot as I was putting up. Um, I didn't actually finish it. Um, it's not super common for me not to finish books, but I was, like, halfway through with this one. It's a young adult thriller. I guess I didn't really like it. But I don't know if I should keep it and finish it. Um, yeah. Um, then we have a picture of Dorian Gray. We have a book of Emily Dickens' poems, or Dickens and poems. Um, All Quiet on the Western Front, Moby Dick, My Name is Asher Lez, and True Confessions of Charlotte Doyle. Which actually, this was... Was this my family's copy growing up? Is that... I don't know if this was... Um, my family's copy of growing up or not, but I actually bought this book um, for Ava, so I have another copy of this in Ava's room. Okay, man, <laughs> another row. Here we go. So let's start on this side this time. So we have an autobiography of uh, Martha Christie. We have the brothers Karamazov. We have a collection of the Bronte sisters. We have East of Eden. We have this book called Man in Profile, which I haven't read. Girl of the Limberlost, a Ray Bradbury book. Paris seems the Paris <laughs> seems just. Um, the Glass Palace, The Piano Tuner, we have some more Royal Diaries books. These are um, my family's growing up. I don't know how I got them all here. Um, we have this one called The Lake, which I haven't read. We have a Ruth Aware. We have a um, uh, Hound of the Baskerville. We have, um, this is a, yeah, Sir Walter Scott book. We have Cranford. We have Anna Karenina. We have Emma Brown, which um, is a was an unfinished manuscript by Charlotte Bronte, and then someone finished it. We have Catch-22. We have this one called The Chic Author by Fiona Ferris. She's kind of like a self-published um, writer about writing. Um, we have Frankenstein. We have Dandelion Wine. We have The Three Musketeers. We have this one called How to Be a Hepburn in a Kardashian World. Um, I absolutely love Audrey Hepburn. I 
I just love her. Um, a Sound in the Fury, and then Unaccustomed Earth. All right, so this final row here, let's go through. So we have Les Mis, we have The Amulet, we have Jacob Have I Loved, Alone on the Wall, that's this one hanging, um, Mysterious Island, we have The Starless Sea, which I have not read yet, but I really want to get to that one. We have a Riley Sager, we have To Sleep in a Sea of Stars, we have A Bleak House, a Mark Twain book, we have The Last House Guest, we have um, a uh, uh, Chip Gaines book, a major friend and then these right here are all um, my non-fiction books so we have some baby books we have um, marriage books we have um, a lot of marriage books and parenting books and then we have a few um, photography books here um, and like a cleaning book so those are all of the books there and yes it's still messy and eventually we'll get bookshelves but I think it's looking a lot better than it was before all the books are dusted all of the spiders are gone and then this is what the other side is looking like these are all things that I have to make decisions on which just does not sound fun so all of these are like workbooks basically yoga books I was a spin and bar instructor um, so there are just all these kind of random books that I'm trying to decide whether to keep or not and then all of these right here are books that I am going to get rid of so let's go through those real quick so these are all the books that I'm going to unhaul I guess so let's just start from the very top I have it this so we have this one. This is a photography book that I got. I don't remember where I got it. Um, and I love it, but I just, you know, I'm not a photographer anymore. And so um, I think someone else could um, make some use of that one. Then we have this one called Motherland, which I read. And it was really cute, um, but I'm not going to read it again. And yeah. Okay, so we have um, Devil Wears Prada. We have Wild. We have another photography book. We have this Nora Roberts book, which I never read, and I probably won't ever. We have this one, which I bought years and years ago. The copy is obviously very uh, dirty, so I have no idea. I'm going to take these to the Half Price Bookstore. I have no idea if they're going to take them. I've never actually sold anything there, and I never actually did read this one, but it's been in my bookshelf for years. We have this one called Worth Every Penny. This is actually a really good business book. We have like a Christian book that I never read. We have um, The Lost, The Lost. Okay, Abe is actually waking up, so I need to um, go through these really, really quickly. We have The Lost Apothecary that I never read. Catch and Kill, I never read. Um, Dear John, which I'm not ever gonna read again. Um, another uh, book I never read. We have um, Fanatical Prospecting, which I actually did read, and it was interesting. We have you can probably hear Ava crying. I need to go get it. We have Will's autobiography, which I never did end up reading this one. We have a baby book that I never <laughs> read. Uh, we have The Perfect Marriage, which I absolutely did not like, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, we have uh, another Christian book. We have um, Fault in Our Stars. We have this random book about Washington. Um, I don't know why I had that one. I've never lived there. Um, we have a Gossip Girl. I remember getting this one. I did like a blind book date and this was in it and yeah. So uh, we have this one called The Chestnut Man, which uh, was too creepy for me. I read like a few pages and I just could not do it. Um, we have this one that I thrifted a long time ago and never got to that one. We have this one. I think it's like a teen or maybe, I don't know. It's like a devotional book. I'm not sure. Um, and I think I might try. I don't know if Half Price Books will take these, but they're just like little um, cards for kids like uh, just yoga poses and it's really cool and then also this book right here it's like a coffee table book about New York which it's really cool it's just full of um photos about New York but I think I'm gonna get rid of that one all right you guys that is it for this video thank you so much for watching so I am just so excited I finally went through all my books I tested them I got rid of some spiders as you saw and I somewhat organized them uh, yeah, I cannot wait to eventually get bookshelves because when I do, then I'll actually organize them by genre, which I think will be great. But right now, they are pretty much accessible, and I'm really excited. I'm really disappointed that I cannot find Carnival. I have one tub of, like, journals and papers and random stuff like that in the garage. It's up high on a shelf. Um, 
so that's the only other place that I think that it could be. So I'm gonna have to get my husband to get that down and look in there. And if it's not in there, then somehow I got lost in the move and um, that's a disappointment. So I still have a few things behind the camera that you can't see that I need to um, go through. I have a stack of books that were my husband's for him to go through. I have all of my yoga books. I have just no idea what to do with. If you have um, any ideas, let me know. Should I keep them? Should I get rid of them? I don't know. I have my records that I need to find a home for, and that's pretty much it. I am really excited to take these books that I unhauled to a half price bookstore and see if I can get any money for them. That would be great. I don't know how they work. I've never sold anything there, so uh, if you can hear Ava is awake. She took a good long nap, which allowed me time to do all this, which was awesome. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna kind of put everything away that I can. Yeah, I'm just excited. So thank you so much for watching. I know this was a little bit chaotic, a little bit all, all over the place. I went through all of my books. I showed you all the books that I own. I organized them. I did a small unhaul of books. So I hope that you enjoyed. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button to stay updated when I do post new content. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.